Perfect. Yeah, so Masai, let, let's talk about your experience. Your name is Masai. I mean, this is something that, that you know, we we talk about Masai tribe a lot, and your name is Masai. So that's yeah. that's crazy. So it's like getting Masai back to your original shape and form. Yeah. Perfect. Tell me, tell me, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about the struggles that you had before coming in. Yeah, so I had um a bunch of chronic injuries, chronic pains that I was dealing with. Um, I had pain in in my left ankle that kept me out for a few months. I had issues in my groin that was keeping me out, and then I was developing also some pains in my left knee that were causing me problems as well. Gotcha. And what what have you tried before? Um, most of the mainstream methods pretty much i've been to physical therapy i've done um i've had surgery before um pretty much everything that's recommended by the mainstream I, i've tried that already right and you're currently playing in in where and and how are you doing in greece in uh the second division of greece in pansarekos Gotcha. I saw an interview that you did with Kadur Ziani a few years ago. And um that was the first that was my first introduction to, to your work. Um so I would say at first I was a bit skeptical. I was a bit um doubtful about the work, about if if it would work, about the results that I would get. Um just because a lot of this was something I never experienced before of Especially with the towel curls, the idea of doing towel curls and filling it in the glutes, that was a completely foreign idea to me. So at first I was definitely very skeptical about it, but I would say probably by week four or five, when I started to feel the glutes in the towel curls, and then for sure by the fifth or sixth week, once the pain in the knee was gone, that was when I was really like, okay, this um this really works. Gotcha. Hmm. And uh, what was your, what about your groin and ankle? Uh, the groin and the ankle, those also went away pretty quickly. I think the knee was a lingering problem that, that I had. But within starting this protocol, I would say the ankle and the groin went away within the first month, probably the first four weeks. They both, uh, they both went away. Right. And then once we, we had to do some movement analysis, right? And we yeah. had to adjust the way that you pass the ball and the run. Right, 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 right. Right. So that's when when you started to notice the the more uh, gains on the knee. Right. Definitely. Definitely. And just being more more conscious about my movement patterns for sure was a a big change. Right. And then after that, we you know we stress tested with your your soccer practice. Right, yep. you ha you haven't had a knee for what four weeks now, three weeks now. Probably about three four weeks. Right, so three four weeks after you had all these issues, and we stress test them, and there's no more. Yeah, it's not coming back either. Yeah, yeah, very good. And I know you were sick like twice, so yeah, even yeah. with with you know the the sickness and everything, still the body actually recovered very well. Yeah. yeah. Right, for sure, man. Thank you. Yeah. So how do you how do you compare this to the to the mainstream uh, exercise and 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 rehab you have done in the past? I would what say once you once you try it once you try it and you feel the the results and the sensations of it, it makes a lot more logical sense. It's like it's more it's more orientated to the the natural way that your body is supposed to work. I would say. Gotcha. And and uh, when you did the, let's say when you did the the PT the mainstream uh, um, type of uh, recovery for your knee pain, what what did they have you do? Uh they had me. So it was a lot of time in the gym. Um, a lot of isolated work on muscles. So whether that was trying to strengthen the the quads or the adductors, um some stretching work also but everything was very was very isolated and it wasn't uh 
it wasn't holistic, a holistic way of treating these injuries. So I would go, and then when I would stop going and start playing again, the injuries would come back over and over. It was just this cycle. Gotcha. So, mm-hmm. so you you could feel a little bit better, but then when you go play sports again, what happens? Yeah, exactly. The injury would just come back. Maybe it get re-aggravated doing a certain action or just over time playing again. It would it would come back. And I always thought it was just, okay, maybe it's uh, just the stress of playing too much or training too much or something like this. And I figured that this was just a natural, just a natural way that I was supposed to be. Right. Uh, I would say definitely the desire to take take my game and my performance, my ability to the next level. And um, I would say one of the most one of the most important things that you can have in, when when you're starting your career is just, just not to be injured. That's probably the most important thing that you can have because injuries early in somebody's careers it's it alters a lot of careers. You know, it it, it changes a lot of it impacts a lot of young professionals when they're starting out to have those injuries early in their career. So as much as you can try to mitigate that from happening and try to try to keep yourself healthy and just to be available all the time, it just gives you more more of a chance to advance your career. Gotcha.